What is poppin' everyone? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm gonna be going over another backrooms level, shocker, and this one is called The Promised Land. Now I'm gonna call it The Promised Land because it sounds cooler, but it is from the fandom website. However, it's a pretty highly requested video that a bunch of you have been asking me for, so uh, I figured why not. It's gonna be a banger. Let's get it. The Promised Land is classified as a Class Zero and is extremely safe and secure, and it actually used to be considered a level only in Legends or Tales because no one actually knew if it existed or not. But now it's been pretty much explored extensively, so most of the level is documented. The level itself is a huge building with exactly 300 floors and around 1,000 rooms that are spread throughout. And each floor has these pink glowing lights in the ceilings, which would drive me crazy to be honest, but whatever. These lights have been known to randomly turn on or off, so just be aware of that. And all the floors have windows that look out to the outside area, and when it turns daylight outside, the curtains and the windows will disappear, and a floor made out of clouds will appear directly outside the window. Kind of like the floor of level Zenith. This cloud floor actually has these trees that grows in the ground, and they produce a weird fruit, which you can actually eat. The day-night cycle here is pretty much the same as real life, so the windows disappear during the day, but they'll reappear at nighttime. I mentioned earlier that there are over 1,000 room types, so here are some of them. There are bedrooms, living rooms, kitchens, dining rooms, bathrooms, infirmaries, lounges, shops, an outside area, nightclub area, the business area, and the promised land resort. Each of these areas are pretty much exactly how their name sounds, so I'm not going to describe them. Like, the bedrooms, the bedrooms, the dining rooms, the dining rooms, it's pretty simple. Now a common question asked is, well, where did the promised land come from, or how did it get figured out? Well, according to the fandom, the level's first ever mention was found on a note in level zero near a ripped partygoer's mask. The note said, quote, the last of us are here, and there was a picture of the promised land level next to it. Now nearby that note, there was a book called the promised land that pretty much had all of the level's explanation inside of it. Obviously, the level is really chill, and as soon as the book was read, rumors of this sanctuary level spread quickly throughout the backrooms. So lots of people tried to get there, but very few did. There are only two entities here, and those are the Cloud Trees, which I mentioned earlier, and Storks. Which are pretty much Storks from real life, except they're more intelligent and tameable. As far as bases here, there are actually a few. The first one is the Backrooms Colonists, which is just a conglomerate of colonies that are loosely linked together. Then there are the Forgiven FOJs, which is a group of the followers of Jerry that somehow got to the level. And as always, they're nice unless you talk trash about Jerry. Lastly, there is the Reliquay Outpost, not sure if that's how you pronounce it, which is just an outpost of soldiers that fought in a war that actually happened on this level a long time ago called the Summer War. To enter this level, you can dive through a painting on level 384, but just like all of the entrances I'm about to say, it's extremely rare for them to work. And there's also a rumor that no clipping into a pink light on level negative 150 will work, but again, just a rumor. It's thought that you can also fall down stairs on that big, long, numbered level that I went over a few months ago to get here. But as always, you just gotta get lucky. To exit this level, you'll actually be exiting the back rooms. So you just gotta find a door labeled exit, and when you walk through that door, you'll be at the same place where you entered the back rooms from. Pretty cool. This might be one of my favorite theorized exits because it's literally so rare. I feel like it's kind of a myth in a way, you know? Pretty cool. Now, unlike most other levels I've covered, there's actually been some documented expeditions to try to find how to get here. There are six expeditions, and the first one was made by four members of the Republic back in 2004. They were sent back to level zero after making it to level 1051. Now, the second and third expeditions were not documented, but the fourth one was. This one was made by seven people from the Backrooms Colonist Group. It happened last year in 2021, and this is marked as the first conclusive, successful mission to get to the Promised Land. 
because when the group made it to level 384, where that painting is, which by the way is an extremely safe level, a member of the group disappeared and it's thought that they went through the painting and made it to the promised land and feasibly out of the back rooms. The fifth expedition had five more explorers no clip into the painting on level 384 and they haven't been heard from since. So it's just thought they either made it or they're somewhere else. The last expedition had 17 explorers and it's officially known that four of them are currently in the promised land and have not escaped the back rooms. Cool. So yeah, that was the backrooms level called Level Promised Land. Hope you liked it. I think it's one of the coolest ones from the fandom because it's kind of like a legend in a way, kind of like a wives tale, something like the Fountain of Youth or Davy Jones Treasure. Hope you liked it. Go sub to my second channel. Let's get it to 10k subs. It's really close. That would be epic. Thank you to my patrons and channel members for being awesome as per usual. And thank you to everybody for supporting me and watching me. The channel's just still growing insanely fast. I, I thank you so much. Thank you to everybody. Make sure to check out the links down below if you want to check out the Discord or follow me on Twitter. Do whatever you want to. Leave a comment, tell me what videos you want to see, and I will see you later.